In between the last video and this one, I've shut down Rebel and restarted it. The reason why is because that's going to directly impact what we see in this video. So if you're following along, I'd like you to do the same thing. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to come over here to color set. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the word color set here to pull this panel off and make it a floating panel. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to this arrow at the bottom and pull down so that we're going to have more space so that we can see what we have in this color set. Now, if you want to control the distance between what we have here in the color set and the color set libraries, you can go ahead and hover on that line and you can see you can move that up and down. Now, if we want to see different color sets, we simply change from the default to any of these other color sets. And you can see we have a number of color sets that ship with Rebel. And you can also create your own or modify these as you need. So the idea of this color set is that it's going to work here with the color panel. And the idea is that what we pick in the widget here is also going to be reflected over here. You can see that the currently selected color is right here. And as a matter of fact, if I click on this, you can see I launched the system color picker exactly the same way as if I come over here and click on it there. So this is going to change as I move in the widget, you're going to see that it changes right there. Now, next to that, we're going to find a blank space right here. And the reason why this is blank is because I have not had any colors used on the document yet. So I'm going to come over here, pause the fusion, and I'm going to go ahead and begin to paint. And what you can see is as soon as I begin to paint, we're going to add that color into our last used color. So if I come over here and switch to a different color, as soon as I begin to paint, we'll add that color into our last used colors, and so on and so forth. If I keep picking colors and adding, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different color set. I'm going to go ahead and add, and maybe I'll do this one and go ahead and add. And you can see that we just keep adding and adding and adding. Up to 200 colors can be added in the last used colors. Now, the idea of that is that if we have more than 200 colors in our last used colors list, then they will be cut off. The oldest ones will be cut off first, and then progressively it'll work its way in history. So the idea here is we can only ever have 200 colors in our last used colors, which is actually quite a bit more than what we can see here, even if we expand out the color set panel to its full width of the screen. So there's a need to be able to save these last used colors if you're going to shut down Rebel and restart it. We're going to look at that in just a little bit. But before I do that, I just want to add a bunch more colors to our last used colors. In order to do that, what I want to do is I want to come over here and look at this mix icon. So if I click this, what's going to happen is we're going to be mixing now between the color that I currently have selected, which you can see is a sort of dark brown, and any other colors that I click on. So if I come over here and I get something like, say, this crayons, and I click on maybe the purple here. When I click on that, you're going to see the color shifts. And if I paint that down, and I click on that again, you'll see the color shifts again. And if I click on that again, you'll see the color shifts again. And if I click on that again, the color shifts again. So the idea here is that we're gradually transitioning from that dark brown to this purple that we're clicking on. We could change the direction of the mix by simply clicking on a different color. So now I'm shifting towards that orange. And you can see that I'm able to get a mixture in that way. So I can click on any colors I want to in order to mix towards those. And you can see how this is adding into our last used colors. If I want the mix to happen faster or slower, what I can do is I can come over here to File, come down to Preferences, and come over here to Color. What you can see is that we have a slider here under Mix Color for Sensitivity. Now, the lower the slider is, the faster we will get to the destination color, meaning the color that we're clicking on. The higher the slider is, the slower it will be. So if you want your blends to happen over a more gradual period of time, then increase the slider. If you want your blends to happen quicker, then you would decrease the slider. The default value is 30. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that value where it is. But you can play with that sensitivity slider until you get exactly what you're looking for. Now I'm just going to come down here and maybe go ahead and get some other colors and blend these in for a little while so that we can just add some more colors to this until we really get past the point of where we were in terms of being able to see the last used color that we started with. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending and blending and blending and just adding more and more colors into this so you can see how this blend really gives us these nice transitions but we're getting close to the point now where we're going to be going beyond the boundary you can see we're going beyond the boundary now of our last used colors and this is where the usefulness of this ends now we're basically getting to a point where we don't know where we started from if we wanted to get back to some of those early colors in our document then what we could do is we could come over here to the flyout menu we can come over here and we could say create color set from last used colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. What you're going to see is that we get a new color set right here. And you can see that all the colors that we've used since the beginning of the document, because we haven't gone past 200 colors, are there available to us. And if I come over here and I turn off the mix, 
and I click on that red, you can see I'm able to paint with that red that I painted with second right there. So this is a way that you can go back in your document and find a color that you painted with. As long as it's not older than 200 colors, you're gonna be able to get back to whatever color you were using. And if you wanna shut down Rebel, but you want to have that history, then before you shut down, what you would do is you would simply come over here and choose to create a color set from the last used colors. Now that said, if you don't want to save this color set, then all you need to do is simply come over here and click the minus icon that will delete the color set from this. We can also come over here and we can duplicate that color set and we can also add a new color set. So you can see that we have a lot of flexibility here. Now in terms of modifying what's in the color set, we can come over here and use the widget. I'll go ahead and get a blue like so. And now I simply come over here and click the plus icon up here. This will add a color chip right there to that. And if I come over, maybe I'll get an orange, something like that. I'll go ahead and add that in. But let's say that I decided, you know, I really don't want that orange. So what I would do is simply click on that orange and hit the minus key and that gets rid of it. So you can see that we can add or remove colors to our color sets, no matter how the color set was created. And then on top of that, we have the ability to change the ordering of the color set. You can see right here, we have a little button. This is going to be to sort this color set by hue. So if I click on this, you can see that the entire color set rearranges from being in the order in which we pick these colors to being in the order of hue. So it's just something that you can do to sort of change the order of the colors. Maybe that might help you find the color that you're looking for if you have a big color set a little bit faster. So those are some of the basics of working with color sets. And like I say, when you shut down Rebel, you're gonna lose everything in your last used color. So if you want to save your last used colors, make sure before you shut down that you come over here and you say, create color set from last used colors. Otherwise you will lose that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy. I'm gonna dock it back over here with our color, like so. And I'm just gonna drag the color panel over like so, so that we have this tab set first. And we have our color set right there so we can switch back and forth between these as we need to. The other thing that I wanna do is now that I've painted a bunch of different colors down, I wanna show you how Rebel handles the diffusion of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unpause this diffusion real quick. And you're gonna see how these colors mix in the watercolor. And this is really, really nice because you can paint down with the diffusion paused a bunch of different colors and allow them to blend through the diffusion process and create these really lovely smooth gradations. And that's something that Rebel does really, really nicely. So having the combination of working with a bunch of different colors, particularly colors that are mixed like this, where they're sort of related to each other, but at the same time distinct from each other, painting them down, allowing them to touch, and then diffusing the whole thing will allow you to get these very nice, smooth blends. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and clear off this layer, and we're gonna go ahead and look at something different in the next video.